All right, cool. In theory, uh, we're live, and we're going to walk through uh, merging some Spark PRs for a very glorious Friday morning. Exciting. Super exciting. So you, you've already done your reviews then, yeah? Yep. Um, OK. What, uh, what do you want my help with, or what do you want to know? So one of the main things was just I uh, wanted somebody to hold my hand through the uh, Python merge, merge script, just on the off chance anything went on with that. Beyond that, I had a couple of questions around etiquette and around Jenkins behavior. So documentation on the Spark site says that committers can give commands to Jenkins via GitHub. It looks like that's probably only PMC members. Is that right? Oh, no. OK, yeah. So that's a great thing uh, that you pointed out. Um, Fuck. Uh, so there's this random GitHub repo, which uh, is prob. Oh wait, no. Okay, so there's there's two things. There's a random GitHub repo for the Spark PR uh, dashboard thing, uh, where we would probably want to add your name so that it shows up there correctly. Um, and that's just for better or worse in the Databricks GitHub. Um, and the other one is the Jenkins servers have this list. Uh, let me see. I definitely know I have access to that. So let's see if I can resolve that. But I don't, I have access, but my memory is, I mean, you know me. Um, <laughs> I guess is the short version of the story. Uh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> so I am, I'm, for a professional, I am uh, not actually very professional. Uh, let's see if we can get that part fixed, because that shouldn't, in, in what is almost certainly the start of something which is not true, I'm going to say that shouldn't be too hard. Um, I've got so some that, wood over here. I'm going to knock on that for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, uh, well, I, I got drywall. It's probably not quite as effective. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do this. We're going to share uh, this random thing. And this is just because I literally do not remember what our Jenkins server is. Uh, so that's great. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Spark PR. So we're going to go down, find a link from the Jenkins build, <laughs> click on it. OK, yeah. yeah. So as you can see, we still use the AMP Lab uh, Jenkins server. So that's great. Um, and let's see if I have cache credentials. Oh, <gasps> thank you, LastPass. Let's find out if either of these accounts work. Oh my god, they do. That's amazing. Cool. Uh, fuck. So I am, uh, I'm not a professional. Um, Jenkins human thingy. Um, but Spark pull request builder. Uh, there's a chance we're going to have to edit this out if we see any secrets while I'm scrolling through here. But there's a chance that we won't. So that's cool. Here we go. So yeah, this is the list of the uh, people. Um, they gotcha. think this is just the GitHub handles. So I'm just going to go in there. Um, how do I spell your GitHub? It's K-O-E N-I-N. G-E-R. Oh, Rogan. So yeah, that should take care of it. Um, actually, this is this is a good reminder. Uh, we really should have done this for some of the other committers that we added. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do that while we're here. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So we definitely, Foxish is a new committer. Uh, let's double check that that's actually his GitHub handle. Uh, you know, that's his internal handle. Yep, cool. Great guy. Um, uh, GitHub Brian Cutler. Um, it's probably the right one, but let's click on it, double check. Yep. 
um, Cutler here, and I'm pretty sure this is Seth's one, but I just want to double check. Great. Okay, cool. So um, those are the three people who I remember, and the other people can uh, email um, either the dev list or private at, um, and and people will will get to it. But I'll I'll take care of the ones that I know right now. So that's. Uh, Thank you for pointing that out. Um, it's, it's definitely a thing which should work, but we uh, don't remember to update frequently. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, so let's go on to the next. Uh, do you want to optionally share your screen and run the merge script, or do you want to just run the merge script and? Uh, yeah, I can share my screen. And this way, if I see things explode, it's good. And yeah. also. If things go sideways, there's a recording of it being two people's fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. No, I All was right. I was so terrified the first time I merged a PR. It was, I mean, which is kind of silly because it's GitHub. We can roll stuff back, but you know. Right, but I, I'm pretty sure that the uh, docs make a, a big point of like. Hey, we can't actually roll things back on the Apache Git and don't commit anything just to test and et cetera, et cetera. So yes, yeah, so we shouldn't. It, it, does, it does a good job of putting the fear of God into people, I think. <laughs> that's, that's important. All right. OK, so can you see my screen on yep. aspect ratio at all? Cool. All right. So as far as the PR goes, uh, Felix already gave a thumbs up on it. Right. Uh, as far as like general social processes go, if I as a committer can't raise anybody else, is it still okay for me to just say, "Hey, this thing needs to go in and merge it"? Well, yeah. I mean, you said an LGTM, so that's that's really all that's needed, right? Cool. Um, you know, sometimes if it's something that's maybe a little controversial, I, I give it like a week. Um, to see if like people are gonna, you know, yell um, if I think someone might object to it, but uh, yeah. and we got six days. I think we're no, you're you're good. I think this is fine. And if they that. object, like we can't we can't like just remove the commit, but we can revert the commit, right? Because we, right. we squash everything down. So you know we're not in the middle of a release cycle, anyways. Cool. All right. So I already went through and made sure that I have. All of the Python modules of this thing trying to import. Um, I don't have Spark Home set, but current working directory is what I want it to be. I have your remotes that look like they're the right thing and the right name. Yeah. I'm not going to show my environment variable for your username and password. Yeah, that's and pretty that's certainly set. I uh, don't have a GitHub OAuth queue, and it sounds like I don't need one. So that should be everything as far as set up for this, right? Yeah, yeah that should work. The, the GitHub OAuth key, that sort of depends on what the rest of the people behind your IP address are doing. So if you're in a natted workplace. Um, I am, but I don't think anybody's hammering. I guess we'll we'll try and find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Find out. All right. So do that. And I want this one. Yeah. It looks like it just all caps that. That looks fine to me, yeah. Uh, looks right. Looks good. No, that looks right. Just, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, if it's just one person who's working on it, the tool pretty much gets it right. Yeah. 
I mean, he basically stole it from somebody else, but that guy said he was fine with that, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do not want this in any other branch. Is that typically like people are backporting stuff or when does that get used? Yeah, it's it's backporting or during the release process. Yeah. Yes. So this is the part which does not always work for me. Okay. But, uh, uh, works. Looks like the right Jira. Oh shit! They improved this. <laughs> I've just been saying no because I'm lazy, but this is much better than it used to be. All right. Well, let's try and sign it to him and see what happens. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, maybe I'll uh, try. Okay. Try assigning it to me. No, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't just do bail that. Bail at that point. Yeah, just bail. We're good. Um, now's, now's the time when you get to go into Jira. OK. So should I leave it unassigned and see what happens, whether it attempts to close it unassigned, just for giggles? I mean, that that's what or the just, old behavior was. I don't know what it would be. I would personally just control C here. All right. Seems good. Yeah. Um, um, OK, it doesn't like that. How about control D? Nope. <laughs> uh, OK. All right. OK, so. Sweet. That's How about great. I go? Yeah, um, that's a bug. We should we should fix that. So I mean, the TLDR is that uh, we have to add this person's Jira account to the list of assignable um, things, uh, and that's like super annoying. Uh, um, so this is like probably this person's first contribution. Then uh, it seems quite plausible. Yeah. Yeah, so that's awesome then. Thank you for getting a new contributor ramped up. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, so when we have new contributors, uh, we have to go in to Jira. We have to go into the Apache Jira and go find like the admin dashboard. Um, and you most likely don't have permissions for that right now. Uh, okay. Josh Rosen is the person who I normally bug to get Jira permissions assigned. Um, and failing that, the private list is, you know, the next place that I go. Um, and that's cool. But um, this is probably, oh, fuck. Um, I, I am a really shitty Jira administrator. <laughs> Is the short version of this. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my email. I'm, so I'm not gonna share my screen just yet, and uh, find the email from Josh where he told me very clearly how to do this and what not to do because I <laughs> accidentally lock everyone else out of the project. Um, so that let's not fuck that up. Yeah, it's just like change this list, but not this other list. I'm like. Uh, but they look the same. Anyways, whatever. I'm a professional. Um, Jira admin? OK, Jira account permissions. OK. Yeah. Um, yeah, that looks like I am in here. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, while we're here, OK, I'm going to go back in and share my screen again. Um, so right, should I stop sharing mine then? So uh, I don't get a like weird echo effect if I switch to yours. That's yeah, probably. Yeah, that's our uh, I guess. Ooh. Ooh trippy. <laughs> I have job. Okay. Um so yeah, we have this like contributors group and we have this committers group. Um and so this reminds me of another place that we probably need to add you. Um, so add users to role. Uh, OK, uh, what's this person's GitHub name that it's uh, I think it's ARZT. 
A R Z T. Okay, Sebastian, not an administrator. Uh, hmm, we have contributors and contributors one. Um, let's try contributors, and if that doesn't work, we can try contributors one. All right. Uh, they've been added to contributors. Um, add users to role, Cody. Actually, wait, yeah, what's your? I think era? it's Cody at Kenninger is my username on Kira. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I will add you to committers. Yay! Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I can tell I'm in the right project because the project lead is Mate. Um, so that's great. And I'm going to go back and we'll get the trippy. <laughs> uh, um, stop screen sharing. That's awesome. OK. So yeah, now you should be able to go into Jira, um, just look it up, manually assign it to, to this person, and then just close the issue as resolved. This is, this is probably a thing that we should up in the Spark committer guide. Um, yeah. I'm gonna hmm, go, yeah, and go. Uh, okay. Looks like I was able to sign it to him, so that's cool. That's awesome. And just resolve it as fixed. Anything else need to go in there? Um, normally, just the version tag 2.4.0. In this case, wait, it's unreleased version. Um, yeah, so this is, this is pretty cool. Um, definitely. Looking at our committer guide, it says a bunch of things which are no longer true about the commit script. Um, so, you know, uh, someone happens to be looking for um, a place to start contributing, and you want to update the website to understand Jekyll, which is a very useful skill that I will never admit to having. <laughs> You could update our committer guide to say that the signees on JIRAs are now supported uh, in the script, but uh, that the person has to be assignable. Cool. Also, I hate Jekyll. Um, all right, cool. So one PR down. Um, do you want to go for number two? Yeah, we can take a look at the, uh, which now has conflicts probably because of what we just merged. So cool. do you wanna share your screen and we can go take a look at it? Yeah. I'm gonna open my delicious pocky who um, I'm just saying if I <laughs> ever wanted to sponsor a channel, I would be very willing to start drinking at ten o'clock in the morning. Um mm. okay. let's go. All right. You can see I do a very good job of product placement. This Pocky is delicious. All right, yeah. So definitely, right. yeah. OK, conflicts. Um, yep. So that's my failed attempt at testing. OK. Uh, and it's probably just straightforward. Both people added stuff to uh, the stream suite. Yeah. So, so oh, sorry. So at this point, would I typically ask the contributor to go ahead and fix those merge conflicts? So on the Spark project, um, yeah, that seems to be the normal uh, social thing to do. And so just ask the contributor to fix the merge conflicts. Um, if you're in a rush, uh, definitely um, the merge script does give you the chance to um, sort of intervene and manually fix up the merge complex if you want. Um, but, you know, uh, I think the Spark project has generally taken the approach of being a little bit lazy, um, or perhaps not lazy, 
economical with committer time. Spread the love, right? Yeah. And and I mean, honestly, it's a good way for other people to sort of understand more about what's happening in the project anyways, because um, it's possible when they go in to update the conflicts, they will have some context that I wouldn't have. Um, and then we'll notice something in the review phase. So uh, yeah, now you'd probably cool. just add mention them, ask them to update it for the conflicts um, and say that, you know, you're really excited about getting this in soon. Great. And that'll hopefully give me a chance to see whether Jenkins uh, obeys my magic words. And yeah. that's cool. All right. Yeah. Um, I think that was pretty much all I wanted to get to. Cool. That that sounds like a, a good wrapping up point. I'm going to hit stop broadcasting. And uh, yeah, great. Thanks for cool. being with us.